Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we will do physical computing with Raspberry Pi Pico that includes LED blinking, button as an input and switches and LED on and off with a button. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. First, insert the micro SD card. Connect the USB-C to the Raspberry Pi 400. Connect the micro HDMI cable. And then, turn on the power. Next, stack Raspberry Pi Pico on the breadboard. Connect the Pico's 3.3V to the positive power rail of the breadboard. Then, connect the Pico's ground to the negative power rail of the breadboard. Next, stick an LED. You will see one of its legs is longer than the other one. The longer leg is known as the anode and represents the positive side of the circuit. The shorter leg is the cathode and represents the negative side. The anode needs to be connected to Pico's GPIO pin 15 via the resistor. So, take a resistor and insert it into the breadboard in the same row as Pico's GPIO 15 which is at the bottom left and the other end into the same row as the anode of the LED. The cathode needs to be connected to a ground pin. Then, insert a male-to-male -male jumper wire into the same row as the shorter leg of the LED and connect it to the negative side of the breadboard's power rail. Now, add the push button to the breadboard. Connect one of the legs to the positive power rail of your breadboard and then connect the other leg to pin GPIO 14 on your Pico. It is the one just above the pin you use for the LED. Okay, now we can plug a micro USB cable into the micro USB port on the Pico. Hold down the boot cell button on the top of your Pico. Then, while still holding it down, Connect the other end of the micro USB cable to one of the USB port on your Raspberry Pi. Count to 3, then let go of the boot cell button. Click OK and double click on the index.htm file to open it in the web browser. Click on the download UF2 file button to download the MicroPython firmware. Drag the UF2 file into the Pico's file manager. Just ignore this one because if this happens, your Pico is now running MicroPython. Now, Open Tony Python IDE. I'm using Tony version 3.3.3. From the list, choose MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. Now we can start to program. Import machine is to import the machine library contains all the instruction MicroPython needs to communicate with the Pico. Without this line, you won't be able to control any of your Pico's GPIO pins. Import uTime is to import the library that handles everything to do with time, from measuring it to inserting delays into your programs. This line defines an object called LED onboard, which refers to the onboard LED letter in our program. It is technically possible to use any name here, but it is best to stick with names that describe the variable purpose to make the program easier to read and understand. 25 is the number of the pin for the LED that we will use. The machine.pin.out tells Pico the pin should be used as an output. This line is to create a loop. This line takes the LED on board and set its value to 1 for on and 0 for off. This line calls the sleep function from the uTime library. 
which makes your program pause for whatever number of seconds you write here. In this case, 5 seconds. Click the run button and save the program on your Pico as bling.py. You will see the onboard LED switch on for 5 seconds, switch off for 5 seconds and switch on again. There is another way to handle the same job using a toggle rather than setting the LED's output to 0 or 1 explicitly. Delete these two lines and replace this value with toggle. Toggle simply switches between on and off. If the pin is currently on, toggle switches it off and if it's off, toggle switches it on. Run your program again. You will see the same activity as before. The onboard LED will light up for 5 seconds, then go up for 5 seconds, then light up again in an infinite loop. Now, we will control an external LED in MicroPython. Edit the name to external and change the pin number to 15 since we connected the external LED to pin GPIO 15. And don't forget to edit this name too. Next, open a new file. This time, we will read input from a push button. Fourteen is the number of the pin for the push button that we use. The machine.pin.in tells Pico the pin should be used as an input. Machine.pin.pulldown is to tell Pico to use the internal pulldown resistor for GPIO 14. This line is to read the button value. Click the run icon and save your program as button.py. Here shows 0 because we didn't press the button on GPIO 14. Hold down the button with your finger and press the run icon again. This time, you will see value 1 printed to the shell. Now, we will edit this code so that it will read the button continuously and when we press the button, we will see a message printed to the shell area. Now, let's challenge ourselves by putting it all together. We will make a device that switches an LED on and off with a button. Click the run icon and save the program as switch.py on your Pico. Press the button to see the LED light up for 2 seconds. After that, the LED will go out again until you press the button again. Next, you can challenge yourself by modifying program to light up the LED and at the same time print a status message to the shell. That's all for today. I'm Suat from Cytron Technologies. Thank you for watching.